Today, we need to talk about Jungkook giving somewhat a statement and apology after his album. And then we have rumors that the seven lyrics are true and Jungkook and Jack are canoodling multiple women. And then we have V posting about a dating thing. So hey, dumplings, it's safe to say, hate or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling nuts, hey, spilling mug merch, and let's go. V recently posted something dating related and fans have gone wild. They think it's hilarious and it's just overall so cute. So what did V post? Well, I do have to give some backstory first. If you are not aware, BTS and Bang PD are actually very close. It's really rare for the CEO or founder to be extremely close to one specific artist. They do tend to be close to the best performing artist, but they're usually not as involved on the music side as the founder slash chairman or whatever Bang PD is now. They have many obligations. It was reported a little while ago that Bang PD stepped down as CEO so he could focus more on producing music. However, he is still a big owner of the company, meaning big decisions that need to be run by him. So you probably can't take on many musical projects as it would suck for him to work on something, but then when the company needs his vote, he has to drop the production to focus on the company. What I am about to talk about today is an example of that. Bang PD recently has made amends with M Bang PD has recently made amends with MBC as well as many other big labels. And I say amends more loosely because there likely wasn't really any drama there. But hype going around and building more deep and meaningful relationships with the CEOs will open many doors for the company. And a lot of people within K-pop, especially the label in the past, have held on to this strategy of keeping to themselves. Collaborations, they barely exist within K-pop. It also then creates this landscape where even the fans think it's their fave versus others, where this doesn't exist as heavily in the US market because everyone works with everyone. There is a video of Bang PD and head of JYP together on, t on a TV network, TVN. This was a segment where we both see founders come together to make music and many others described this as the two were acting like a married couple. So of course, a ton of fans tuned in and among those was none other than V. And V posted it and added a text to say, from now on, JYP, will you be my uncle? For some reason, people then took that comment to mean that V was posting about dating and joking about Bang PD and JYP dating. However, I thought this was so funny as uncle would imply Bang PD and V's father and that JYP is Bang PD's brother. So no dating and not even a thing that implies any sort of relationship, but a thing that implies that they are brothers or close friends. We even see people joke about it further, why JYP and Mr. Bang decided to play a piano ring edition of Spring Day. And in case you are both unaware, both JYP and Bang were both idols of their time. They reached mediocre success, but it seemed their true calling and their true legacy will be the label they created. And I love that they are taking time out of their busy schedule to show the bond and also prepare fans for the idea that Hive artists and JYP artists will one day merge and there will be some amazing music to come. But going back to their calling, I think this applies to everyone. We may want to do something and really are passionate about it, like I'm sure JYP and Bang are passionate about being artists. However, sometimes what the actual true calling of the person is when they pivot and try something new. Both of them hit a calling when creating music, but there seemed to be almost no ceiling when it comes to their label. And you can tell BTS members true calling is music because there is no such ceiling every time they created and worked hard. The work should be hard and take a lot of time, but the outcome and the success shouldn't be a huge uphill battle constantly. You should see even minor improvements or advancements should you be meant to do this. And if you're not meant to do it, it doesn't mean you're not meant to be in the industry. Your true calling could be something adjacent to it and you might actually like it more. You can definitely tell Jungkook is meant to do music by simply him being such a perfectionist on his album. I think most people and most artists do settle for a sense of good enough, but Jungkook doesn't have that in his brain. And he recently talked about Golden in a very interesting way. He put out a statement to say that he actually did not have a clear plan for it in his head at all. He says that he really couldn't think of any coherent, he said that he really couldn't think of anything coherent to do, but when the promotion started, everything just came together. And this is a testament to how good his team is, because as he's mentioned before, he was not active during the songwriting process, but having these songs being brought to him and him picking them out and then realizing what he wanted to do, he continues to bring up multiple times that the album 
is in no way, shape, or form perfect, and he doesn't feel like it is. He says that putting it out was sort of him trusting himself and knowing that it was the best he could do. And so he feels there's a lot of imperfect parts, but doesn't want to sit there and refix everything. So he is just okay and content with how everything is. He basically apologizes for it not being perfect without physically saying the word sorry. And he implies that he is saying, I'll do better, but I want to challenge this. I think every artist and every creative person struggles with imposter syndrome, especially when you reach a level of success like John Cook, where people are going to mock you regardless. But at least if they mock you after you feel the song is the best version of it, it can't really hurt you. But it can hurt you if, let's say, you felt like the track was unfinished or could have used this extra thing and you never did it. But then now people are saying how bad the song is. This would get you somewhat insecure, right? Jungkook is absolutely amazing and I really don't like that he feels this way when he is creating music, especially if he has to perform it like 500 times. And more sick than when most singers are sick of their own song. Aside from just not feeling satisfied with the song, it also then heightens any insecurities like one that I just mentioned, as well as if the song doesn't perform to standard. And then if there's any scandal or anything bad that happens, during promotion, it's going to make him or anyone feel extremely burnt out. Because imagine working so hard and working as fast as you can to meet a deadline only for everyone to yell at you over a silly scandal. Jungkook has been accused of some very strange things lately, and I think it's because a lot of these haters are aware that they can get away with calling Jungkook a slut or whatever it is. And people in the fandom will believe it because Jungkook sings about the more adult topics lately. And I just wonder when will this end? When will dating and sex not be a big deal because our the people who are genuinely upset over this, people who are not dating, and I don't mean the haters, because the haters, more often than not, don't even actually care. They're attacking Jungkook just because they want to see him fail. Not that they actually care what he does at all. But the people who spread it and get upset, which is how it even turns into a scandal, are those people, people who never date? I'm just so curious about that. So what happened recently? There was a video that came online where people believed it was Jungkook at either a karaoke bar or some place and people were saying that you could see Jungkook with several other women. And really you only see one and he's not really even close to her. But people were saying since Jack Harlow has a lyric in the song 7 about dating multiple people that this must mean that Jungkook is doing that or practicing that. And of course that theory would then make sense to people whose biggest fear is Jungkook having sex. So they'll jump on that to say that Jungkook is being terrible and then trend the hashtag Jungkook out to encourage those people to not stream or not have anything to do with Jungkook. They want him either out of K-pop or out of BTS. And of course, we can easily see that a lot of this anger spreading of rumors and creating this false narrative comes from the jealousy that exists online. Those who are not fans of him cannot bear it and do not want to see Jungkook succeed. And this is where I think these people have severe mental illness because the fact that someone else who you don't have a personal vendetta with because you don't know them can succeed and that bothers you so much, does not really help also, going back to this alleged clip of Jungkook at this bar or whatever, it doesn't make any sense. First of all, you can pause the video whenever you want, and it never looks like Jungkook. So this just tells me it's a false narrative created. Also, we can see in the video, Jungkook is not touching her. The, the alleged woman is just literally in the video. There's no interaction. So Jungkook can't even be in the same room as a woman. Women exist. Is this shocking knowledge? What if Jungkook just walked into a bar and a woman was in the bar? Or is it just the fact that Jungkook is in a bar that makes him such a terrible person? That anyone that ever goes to a bar that allows any type of woman to go in? Is this just a big scandal for Jungkook to be associated with such a scandalous and disgusting type of bar? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.